Oblivion. It's a fifth volume in the Power of Five series. It's a book that stands alone. It's a struggle between five teenagers and the forces of darkness as represented by the Old Ones, which takes place all over the world and climaxes in the frozen wastes of Antarctica, in the city called Oblivion. This is the darkest book I've ever written, and I had to be very careful with the levels of violence and destruction in it. But then this is the world of the very near future where everything has gone wrong and where mankind is on the edge of extinction. Only these teenagers can bring it back from the brink. The last book, Necropolis, finished with a typhoon in Hong Kong and the destruction of the entire city. The five were trapped in a temple and tumbled through the magical doors that have taken them into a world they simply cannot understand. Matt is in Brazil, a country ravaged by disease and taken over by drug lords. Jamie is in England in a village where nothing makes sense and where there's danger all around. Pedro and Scott are thrown together in a prison in Italy, captured by the old ones. And Scarlet is in Cairo, one torn apart by civil war, where sandstorms are blowing the whole time. The five of them have to find each other again. All five characters have great journeys to make in oblivion, but Pedro was the most interesting one to write for me, trying to come to terms with this street urchin from the streets of Lima, faced with such danger and so much to overcome, and somehow, maybe winning through at the end. If I could have one of the powers of these teenagers, I think it would be telepathy. I'd love to be able to read people's minds and get inside their heads, which I suppose in a way, as a writer, is what I'm doing anyway. I loved creating the monsters in Oblivion, the fly soldiers, the shape changers, the fire riders, the old ones themselves, chaos, and the battle at the end in the wastes of Antarctica. That was really something to write. You know, I visited every location for this book, Cairo, of course, Brazil, Antarctica, uh, America, uh, Italy. And what I found really exciting was to take these places as I know them and to twist them into this world that might be coming our way and to make them deadly and dangerous. Oblivion is a very personal book to me. If you're watching this and you're young, my message to you is you're about to inherit a world that we, my generation, have comprehensively screwed up. It's your job to make it better. That's the theme of the book. So there it is, Oblivion is out there, 30 years work, and I, I really think it's the best thing I've ever done, honestly. I think it's up there with the Alex's, and for those of you who've stuck with the Power of Five series, I hope this brings closure and finally the end of the whole thing. And to those of you discovering it for the first time, what can I say? I just hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it.